Hello everyone and welcome to Aviation A to Z. Before we start, I want you to ask a few questions to yourself. How's my preparation for model which I am giving? Am I capable of clearing this model? Is this my study is sufficient? This question are really important because it will not only motivate you to study but also proves to be a game changer. So today we are going to discuss about tips and tricks for model 4 which is electronic fundamental. So let's get started. As I always say, refer syllabus of models in CR66. So go check out there. In short, we have three main topics to study, which includes diode, transistor, integrated circuits called ICs, comes under semiconductor. Then we have printed circuit board, PCB, last but not least, servo mechanism. Now apart from this, those who are from B2 category, avionics category have to study radio communication as well. So starting from our main topic, we have semiconductor. We need to study the semiconductor materials, properties of semiconductor, types of semiconductor which are intrinsic and extrinsic, as well as the definition of conventional current and electron flow. Now this was just a basic but for category B1 and B2, both have a diodes in detail that is level 2. So we need to study biasing of diode either forward, reverse or unbiased. Then we have properties and characteristics of diode, diode identification and symbol. The most important is the properties, working and application of different types of diode which includes Zener diode, tunnel diode, Schottky diode, Varector diode, light emitting diode or LED and photodiode and etc. Remember their biasing either forward or reverse and symbol is most important. Apart from this we have SCR, silicon control rectifier also known as thyristor and at last we have testing of diodes. DCC can ask up to 7 to 8 questions from this topic so study well. Now you will ask where to study all this thing. Not to worry refer my video on books and still I tell you the most important books to study is VK Mehta principle of electronics and BL there is a volume 4. Watch video till end and there will be a secret for question setting. Now moving on to the transistor, DCC can ask level 1 question for B1 and level 2 for B2 but questions are really simple. DCC can ask about NPN, PNP transistor symbol, about common base, common emitter and common collector configuration, field defect transistor and operational amplifier. In short, DGC can ask up to 2-3 to three questions at most from this topic. Next, we have integrated circuit which is very interesting topic in module 4 which includes characteristics and properties of ICs, advantages and disadvantages of ICs, different types of ICs which includes monolithic, film and hybrid and most important is monolithic ICs, advantages. We also have application of ICs include modern electronics, computers, digital cameras, etc. Now, this is can ask 3 to 4 questions from this topic. All the marking system is for B1 and for B2, increase number of questions to twice of that of B1. Remember, for all this topic, I have made a single PDF note, link in the description and it is in my Google Drive. Also, one important note is, those who are interested in further notes, questions and importance for module 3, 4, 8, 9 and 10 can join WhatsApp group. Again link is also there in description. Now moving on, we have a little boring but still a good topic, printed circuit boards, PCBs. In this remember only the layers of PCB and important notes of PCB which I have written in my notes. Next come the most important topic after diode, servo mechanism which is last topic to study for module 4. So we need to study the servo mechanism in two main topics, servo mechanism itself and other is synchro system. In servo mechanism, we have two types of system, open loop and closed loop system. Remember closed loop system contains error detector and feedback system. Apart from this, we have classes of servo mechanism which is categorized into four subtopics. We also have types of servo, RPC and speed control. Other than this, we have types of input. Now for category 
B2, the thorough mechanism is in detail. But for B1, DGC can ask only level 1 questions and about 5 to 6 questions. Next part is the synchro system. This includes DC synchro system called the D-Sync and AC synchro system called the synchro system, the actual one. In AC synchro system, we have torque synchro, control synchro, differential synchro, resolver synchro, also we have inductance transmitter, slab synchro, synchro tail, LVDT and capacitance transmitter. All the topics are included in my notes, so go check it out. Now the secret for the question setting is revealed. The DGC always repeat questions that we all know, but they repeat about 13 to 14 questions in this module. So there are 90% of chance to clear module 4 by just solving the previous year question papers. Once you will join my WhatsApp group, I will provide all the help for studying module 3, 4, 8, module 9 and 10. So that's it for today, share this to your friends to make aware about module 4 and if haven't subscribed then do it now, click on a bell icon for notification. Keep watching Aviation A to Z for model related and aviation information. Finally, thanks for watching.